Coach, let's go back to the fourth quarter yesterday, um, Saturday. They get the ball back with 205, and all they need is a field goal to tie. Just talk about closing out that game. You know, I mean, that was. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, the mindset, obviously, for defense, every play is like, we have to stop them, get a three and out. Especially when it's two minutes to go, fourth quarter, like, that's the premium. Like, we have to stop them, get them off the field, get the ball. And I think we, we answered that. Um, I think all of us as a, as a defense at the second, second half, um, we we're very excited and very motivated to get the job done. Um, after last week's performance, we had a chip on our shoulder. So at that fourth quarter, we took a stand. Yeah, more about that. What do you think clicked specifically in the second half to hold them to just 39 yards? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, Coach Half and Coach Vince were definitely saying, who's going to light the spark? Um, and that was the whole message this, this whole week, actually. And at halftime, they emphasized that again. And we were definitely like itching and pushing forward. Who's going to be that spark? Um, hopefully, I was that spark sometimes in the games. I know Chris Banks was. I know our whole D-line was. So we're really excited. And we're feeding off each other's energy. So it was really nice to see. Kind of offenses will stay the same, but the, t the team you're going to be facing this week is nothing like you've seen before. Just talk about what you have to do in practice to almost like slip the foot, slip the switch. And yeah. the switch and, and, and face a new type of offense? Honestly, it's just preparation like every week. Um, every game we played so far, there's certain things that these offenses do that the team we played last week doesn't do. Okay. So we used to come in like every other week, prepare for this game like it's the best game, best team we're going to play. Um, it's going to be a tough physical game, like Coach Half just said, and we just got to go out and prepare. Like it's a Super Bowl every week. It's a one. It's a one week, one game season for us. Every every week, that's our motivation. That's our season, and we just have to keep on winning these one games, and that's the goal. George, walk through the you know progression of a week where Larry was asking Coach Hafford where you, where you line up against an offensive line. What are the things that you're looking for that then you kind of digest and say, okay, I have to make sure I'm doing you know mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I don't want to get too much stuff away, but uh, when I look at an offensive lineman, it's definitely like, oh, how is he setting? Um, is he a smaller guy? Is he a bigger guy? Um, what can I do to set my moves up? What moves can I work? Um, this week, um, the Virginia had some smaller guards, so I wanted to utilize some power. Um, the week before that, Louisville had some bigger guards. I wanted to utilize speed. So we just got to keep on looking for these tendencies, look at the film, see what people's weaknesses are, and exploit those weaknesses. I think we did that this week. Is there, is there a go-to move for you that's just like, you don't have to give it away. Is there a go-to like, favorite move that you're going to do, like good? push or slap or something like that? It's honestly just in the moment. Um, when you, I mean, for me personally, I don't know about everybody, when I think about too, when I think too much during the game, I slow down. And when I just play ball, like I did last week, then good things happen. I think that's what, for a collective as a D-line, we did that. We weren't thinking we were just playing fun. And that's what football all it is. It's just playing fun, playing free. And that's what we did. Six sacks as a defense after you know, four as a team coming in. Just how gratifying was that? What do you think led to that? It was awesome. Um, I think we're all feeding up each other. After Don's first sack, uh, we were all competing. Who's going to get the next one? Um, I remember at the third quarter ended, I think I got that sack. And we all celebrated. And Chris Banks came in. And Chris got that sack. And then Sheeta got a sack. And we were all hyped. And then Don got another sack. So I think it's feeding off each other's energy. Um, I think at Dion, we preach synergy. And uh, we did that last week. And we're going to keep on doing that every week for it. How do you balance being aggressive and not too aggressive? It's obviously team dependent, but like, how do you guys kind of game plan for that and then adjust during the game based on what, how, what a team's doing? Um, that yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Honestly, it just as a D line, our mentality is playing aggressive and playing violent. Um, so if we play violent enough, we're going to win the game. Um, so every game, every week, our preparation is how violent we can be in a point of attack. And I think we did that. I think we're going to do that going forward. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Cool. Nice to meet you.